Now, in keeping with the theme of drug policy reform, a human rights imperative, there's one other announcement I want to make, which is, as most of you know, what's coming up on April, in April, in fact, 420 it's coming up, is the next United Nations General Assembly Special Session on Drugs, the first one since 1998. 1998, the UN General Assembly Special Session on Drugs was a colossal nightmare, right, where the rhetoric was a drug-free world, we can do it, and all sorts of absurd claims that helped to advance the drug war and punitive drug policies around the world. Well, you know, some of us stood up then and launched a public media campaign around that that helped transform the debate in the early years. But what's coming up now is going to be something very different. We know that most of the governments will still have things wired on the inside, but what's emerged is a global network of over 100 organizations from every continent except Antarctica committed to trying to use the opportunity of the young gas in April to try to open up this debate, to inject principles based upon science, compassion, and most of all, human rights into this mix. Now, there's a specific campaign called Stop the Harm that is going to mobilize hopefully hundreds of thousands, if not millions of voices. Almost all of the leading organizations are part of this campaign. It's the way to make our voices heard as this event approaches. So I want to encourage all of you to go to stoptheharm.org slash join, sign up, share the link with your friends. If you want to learn more, visit the booth at the conference out there. But this is the way. I mean, look, they're not going to change the conventions next year. But if we want those conventions, those global drug prohibition conventions being changed at the next Dungas in 10 or 12 or 14 years or whatever it's going to be, this is the moment when we need to be heard. So please sign up for stoptheharm.org. That being said, I want to introduce my colleague, Sharda Sekarin, the Managing Director of Communications at DPA, to chair this panel. Sharda.